to what's popping on the fashion scene. Hi, welcome back to the Tammy Bradley Show, and I'm sitting here with one of the best designers here in New Orleans, John uh, Delga. You, know, you better learn that cosign. <laughs> well, John, I'm so happy to have you here on the show today. And I'm happy to be here. I'm looking forward, looking forward. We're going to show some clothes pretty soon here. Yeah. That's right. What we got here today, though? Oh, we have my new collection based on Gothic vampires and World War II Nazi uniforms. Scary, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're that tragic mess, honey. Yes, indeed. You know what it's called? What it's called? Fashion is dead. Yes. Fashion is dead. Yes. Fashion is the Dead is the inspiration of my collection. Hmm. Dead fashion. Oh, uh, look at black flowers okay. on chiffon. Okay. Covered in a dark, gloomy color. Mm -hmm. Work it out. Dead fashion. Work it out. Sounds serious. Go for it. Yeah, because you know it needs to be revived. Okay. Okay. And that's what you're here to do. To exactly. This is the rebirth of what needs to happen because fashion, fashion has just gone amok. So and people who don't know you. Yes. Uh, what do you want to say about who, who are you? Who is John? I'm compassionate, multi-talented, and I am, um, I like to help the majority, not just myself. Mm -hmm. I like to bring attention to things and um, get it out there that if you look at it in a different way, it could be very beautiful. Okay. That's it. So how long have you been into the fashion business? Almost 28 years. And you don't look that old to be a fashion designer. Well, I started when I was 14, so I didn't do John Del Godillo has taken New Orleans by storm. His fashion designs have rocked Lola Fashion Week and the runways in New York. John's character and charisma are no secret. He works at all hours of the day, but when fashion calls, he answers. Not only does he design clothing, he works closely with makeup artists and fashion designers to make sure his vision is delivered on the runway. The design to a whole different level. We did an outdoor shoot at City Park. Okay, ready? And here we go. Action. And she is wearing what I call vampire, vampire black girl dress. The entire collection is inspired by vampires, gothic, and um, motivations, and World War II war uniforms. This happens to be one of the vampires. It's slightly sexy from the front. It is completely covered up. Show it. Show from the front, it is completely covered up. And you drop to the back, and it's got a lower back with the cape effect. The whole dress is black, except it's lined in red, so you get touches of red here and there for the vampy blood, you know. Yes, yes. So it's such a beautiful day for you. It's, it's a muggy day. Yeah. You have that vampy. Exactly. Yes. And it's the per you know perfect setting too. It is. Roses, the muggy day. Yeah. <laughs> like gross weather, beautiful dress, gorgeous model. Yes. Work it out. Yes. All right. Right. All about legs. This is Jessica. She's fabulous. We love her. Number one, she can walk for days. Number two, she's got that great runway look, runway body. She's the perfect model. So this outfit of the hot shorts, which are military inspired, and then they have the patent leather going around the waistband as a piping. Um, and then the, the, the just, it's a basic knit wool, lightweight, mixed with cotton, turtleneck. Okay. Um, you wouldn't think that the gray would go with the green, you know, and black. But together, it, it's a soft military influence it is. outfit. Yes. You know, like the striping of, that you would find in military suits back then, the piping and everything else. I what that green? Way. Yeah, and the green itself. But then, you know, the piping around. Influenced by, it's that women um, of the wartime. You know, the drop ways, you know, the 1920s, 1930s back then. And then I layered it with the black roses and that dark teal green because I thought it was a sexy take on them, you know. And so I'm like, let me give them the, the, the dark roses in pattern on that light chiffon blowing because vampires, when you think vampires, everybody thinks, you know, hard, evil, that a Vampires are some of the sexiest people you'll ever see. And what you're sexy is chiffon. Sexy yes. is light. Sexy is flowy. And then I did the, the I call them the bat wing arms. Mm -hmm. You know, which they're just little scallops of fabric that are hanging down, overlaid. 
and I don't even plan out how I'm going to cut it. I just basically lay the fabric down and cut it, and that's the shapes that it comes out. Beautiful. And, um, but it reminds me of bat wings. Can you open the sleeves again? It, uh, you know? Yes. Bat wings. So you have Three. the 20s influence and the, vamp the dead gothic black roses and your vampy bat wings. And there you go. And then the war influence comes in the styling of that's how the women dress of that period. Yes. So, yeah. you know, if they're going to the cocktail party or whatever. So we got this one down, honey. We got all the influences in one outfit. You're right. right. And you said vampires look sexy. I mean, she doesn't look scary. Yeah. Everybody says vampires are scary looking. But look no. at that. No. Did you say that's scary? It's slightly dark, simply edgy. Yes. But elegantly tasteful. Mm-hmm. Work it out. Work it out. Yeah, far close. Ooh, now this one. <laughs> this is a step out of the ordinary for me. I've always, I'm a color person, definitely. I love color fabric. But we have the latex top going. Space Age Galactica war uniform. Um, but it's more the gothic influence. And then I did bat wing sleeves. I call them the bat wing cap sleeves. Yes. Which are standing up. It's kind of Gaga, kind of Rihanna. You know, yes. Um, I got a rock star edge, and then I took the patent leather on that long skirt. I took the patent leather and I put it down the middle in a like a, a triangle, yes. just for just to take the soft of the fabric and make it a little bit hard and edgy. Mm -hmm. And then as she turns around, I lace the back of the top up. <laughs> So Beautiful. it's really kind of cool and fun, and it's so outside of what I would normally do. So but what type of vampire was she? She, oh, this, oh, baby, this would be the vampire that would show up on the red carpet and bite your neck in front of everybody. <laughs> yes, uh-huh, and this is Renika, and Renika, she's a new scout for me, and we're loving her. She's, she really hasn't done a lot of the modeling or anything, so we're going to work on her. We're getting her out there, honey. She's going to L.A., New York. We're working it out. Yes. Yes. Yes, a oh, Renika girl. Oh, Renika. <laughs> All right, honey. Give me some vamp fierceness. Give me fierce pose. Ooh. A gown that I set down um, the red carpet on one of my models in Anthony Gillian, whose boyfriend was a cast member on Treme. And she wore this dress to the, um, it was a closing party. It was a closing party. And um, it's something that I had made in the past, but I wanted to show past works so I could show you where I was and where I've gone. Now on this dress, it's a stretch velvet with a burnout. So where you see the lighter black, you can actually see her skin through that if you got yes. close enough. Um, and it's in these beautiful rust, the rust palette and the wine palettes of colors. It's darker, it's edgier, it's got the train. Um, and then I did that great beadwork up around the shoulder area. It looks like metal beads and big chunky crystal beads just to give it that pop of newness. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's a classic style, but it has a pop of newness to it, which took it to a, a slightly rock star edge. And she's wearing jewelry by Shane Scallon for uh, Selfish Jewelry. Um, and just so you know, all the hair today was yes. done by Erin Moreau. Yes. And she's the owner of the Blow Dry Bar, which is... Earlier. Yes. Which the blow dry bar is at 201 Barreau. Okay. Um, they do blow dries. It's a full service salon, but they're also known for doing their quick blow dries and you know stuff like that. But Erin's um, been in the hair business for 28 years, so we're loving the updo. And yes, then I brought beautiful. the beaded applique, and Erin picked the perfect spot to lay it into Patrice's hair. <laughs> Then she's got the jewelry by Shane Scallop for selfish design. She's got my dress on, like power power trio. Yeah. Now another question. Yes. What type of vampire is she? If she was a vampire, she would be the party hostess. Mm -hmm. She's the one that has the mansion in the French Quarter. She's the one that's going to invite all the sexiest men in town over. And when the party's done, they're all going to be dead because she will have bit them and killed them. <laughs> And she'd be full on their blood, and the train on that dress would be fully laid out. That's yes. the vampire that she is. Nobody gets away from her. She might as well be the Black Widow. She's beautiful. Yes. If you would like to learn more about John DeGilio's fashion, you can touch base with him on social media. Just head over to the Tammy Bradley Show on Facebook. TammyBradley.com